What's up, woodpeckers? My cheap $35 axe it just broke after about five years of uh, seasonal use. I bought a new shaft and I fitted it. And my question is, is it worth replacing the shaft or is it better to just buy a new cheap axe? Follow and I'll show you how to change the handle and answer the question. There was definitely something wrong with the cheap axe head. It took me some time to figure it out, so I had a long struggle because I really wanted this to work. Because of this misfigured axe head, dismantling the wood inside also gave me a challenge. Here I heat up the steel in a hope that it will loosen its grip on the wood. And it worked. I like my axe to look a bit different, so I often burn the handles. This is where my troubles start and I get pretty frustrated after a while. I normally never give up, but I think you understand when I show you the picture of the inside of this axe head towards the end. Luckily, I have a spare axe head from Musta. Musta & Son is one of Norway's oldest industry companies established in 1832. 
They made themselves a big name selling fish hooks around 1870 and they are still in business. Their axe head production started around 1890. I have no idea when this axe head is from, but it looks like it have taken a beating. Tie on this cord to make the axe look just a bit cooler and to give the axe handle a bit more protection when it will hit the wood. All right, so was it worth changing the handle of this piece of junk? It really gave me a struggle and eventually I had to give up. Uh, I put on a, uh, another axe head uh, I had lying around and this one is quite a historical Norwegian thing. It's called a Musta axe head and uh, yeah, it's not really a cleaver, but it almost does the job. The shape of the cheap Axe head, it was uh, probably made with not being able to fix it in mind from the company or something because when you see it from this picture you can see it narrows into the middle and it widens out again and that makes it impossible almost for us hobby guys to, to fix it. Now I'm not going to buy an axe from this company again uh, so the question to our answer is no it's not worth changing the handle of a cheap axe but if the axe head was made in a normal way it would at least be a bit more sustainable to change it uh, but uh, this uh, axe head here it's a bad joke I went nuts after this and I bought myself an indestructible Fiskars X25 just so I could have a go-to axe if I uh, ever break 
for example, the handle of this one, but this one is not a good cleaver anyway, so uh, I need a new cleaver and I'm probably going to end up with a Fiskars X25 and a Husqvarna. I'll show it to you later if I get one. Now, uh, I will soon serve you a review of the Fiskars. I haven't gotten it yet. And my advice would be to buy one indestructible axe at twice the cost of a cheap one. And the Fiskars, it comes with a 25 year guarantee and you probably have to spend uh, at least uh, money buying four new handles for the cheap one and all the cost with it. Now on that bombshell, fare thee well. Whee! <sweak>